Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another video and today we're going to play some Mordekaiser in the top lane. My runes are Conqueror with Triumph with Alacrity and Last Stand. We also have the second wind in the secondary page because we're playing against Viora at the moment. And we also have Overgrow because that scales pretty well. So with Mordekaiser top lane, it's actually a pretty OP champion at the moment. It does depend though on like what you're building. You can pretty much build like whatever you want on Mordekaiser and you can make it work. But anyways, um, in matchups like Mordekaiser up against Fiora, I would always recommend going for the second win because she's going to poke quite a lot with the Qs. And you also need like Thorn Shield because like she's going to poke a lot with Qs and that will help as well. So anyways, what is this guy doing? Okay, we're going to get the level 2 first. We will get it soon. Let's see if we can grab him backwards. Oh, I can all in this guy immediately. What a pop my potion here too. Wait. <laughs> okay, I don't know what was happening. It felt like Viora was walking like a bronze player, but this is in fact gold too at the moment, so. It's actually quite interesting to see that this guy played like... He moved like a robot. I don't know what was going on there. But anyways, guys. We have just done a perfect cheese on the viewer. Something that you can do on Mordekaiser quite a lot. Like, you can actually rush for the level 2. And you can immediately go for a fight. Like, a 1v1. And you can win really hard if you manage to hit your, um, your E. Oh, that's really nice. I'm going to pop my shield here. Okay, he's like half live again. We currently have the uh, aggression of my jungler. He's sitting in the enemy jungle at the moment. Shavana should be somewhere here right now, but... I think I'm just going to let that go. Well, I could stay right now. Wait. Anyways, guys. Um, as for the full build of Mordekaiser, you can find it all in the description. As well as like the entire full runes. You can all find it in the description, guys. And with that being said. He's going to go for a creep here. There we go. So every single time that Viora is going to go for a CS. Um, you can poke Viora with a Q. And so long as like her parry is down. Or she's not using the parry properly. You can always use your E. So long as you hit your E and she doesn't use parry, you should be fine against this guy. Especially if you're like running the second wind together with the Dorn shield. Like that combination together is just really OP. I got the pressure here. Okay. I can one v two both of them. I got him. Thank you. My auto attacks are not going off. Oh, that was so close. My auto attack didn't go off because uh, she actually hit the slow. So I had to wait for my auto attack to actually reset its attack speed so I could get the auto off. <laughs> that was so close. Alright, so for the first item, I would always recommend uh, buying the Lyandries. It's a pretty good item to rush. In like most matchups. You can also rush the ninja tabbies if you have a lot of trouble in your matchup. Doesn't just have to be against Fiora, but like against most matchups in general. You can just like rush ninja tabbies or mercs. Kinda depends. But I like to rush uh like especially if we already have a few kills, I like to rush this item. It's really good. Okay, I'm gonna place support down. I'm gonna place a Contra Ward down. Doesn't actually have a Ward down there. She currently doesn't have TP, so if she tries to get close, uh, we could actually hit like an auto Q. I can just block her off. Yeah, just like that. Like she's not able to get close to us. If we actually cancel the the back right now, it, it's gonna hurt for her. Oh, yes. 
This is not looking good for this guy. I can ult whoever's coming here. So I don't know what they're trying to do, but I'm level 6 here. What are you trying to do? You can't 1v1 me. I got my ult. Okay. Great. So now the lane is actually being pushed in towards me. That means... Um, Viora's gonna lose another entire level, at least. Or at least two another waves. I can just keep this wave like this. And the moment that my creeps die, I can just tank it. And then keep the wave here. So I can freeze more. Now I can even zone out the Viora too. Like, this, this guy is going to lose very hard now. Okay, great. As soon as this guy gets close, I will try and attempt to ult this guy. We'll see. I just want to keep him zoning out this guy. That's all I want to do. He's going to lose the cannon here too. Nice. Oh, I missed that one, but whatever. My Q is nearly maxed out. It's going to do so much damage. I can just tank this wave. Make her leave it loose even more. Okay, I'll use my W here just so I can tank the wave. Nice. Hey, I thought he was going to Q, but whatever. This guy's right here. I don't know if he can catch him, but we'll see. <laughs> I'll get him for myself. No problem. Just to make sure he's not going to flash away and potentially even live. I'm old as myself. We can push this out right now. I think his teleport is still down, actually. I think it still is. It should be down for another 100 seconds at least. Great. I would honestly like to stay and take another plating, but I'm going to go back anyways. Well, it's like 150 gold. But Jeff is down there, so... I'm gonna risk it. Okay, so... As for the matchup right now... I'm gonna try to push in the lane. And see if I can roam down to mid lane. Or even into the enemy jungle. We'll see about it. Oh, we have this guy here. I have my ignite. Four seconds for my flash. Hmm. Wow. Really? For real? You're flashing too? Okay. That's really nice. So, like, he doesn't flash anymore. I just need to... Um, I need Fior to be pushing the lane towards me now. Just doing, just doing my W, just in case she's gonna poke with, uh, with her Q. So in times like this, you want to make sure that you watch the map constantly. Like for instance, Javana's here right now, so we know that the jungler is not actually here. We can use that to play very aggressive. Also, we're like freezing this up here, so we can force this this VR to stay in the lane. If she decides to go back to base right now, she will miss like another two waves. That was a nice Q right there. Oh, I'm just going to use it for heal. Actually, I didn't mean to press it. Good, I'm going to put it in slow push and I'm going to use that to go back to base and buy my new item. I'll just like hard push it. Mm, 
Nice. Need a bit more. But I can just go back to base right now and sell my potion, so that's fine too. So we got the first item on Mordekaiser right now. This is honestly something that I would recommend most games. Not every game, but most games. It's it's a pretty solid item. Um, as it goes for like the next upcoming items, it kind of depends on like mainly what you're up against. But something that I would recommend by most of the time is uh, the scepter. Where is it? This one. This item is honestly perfect for Mordekaiser because it allows, it allows you to chase in your ultimate. Which is like one of the weaknesses that Mordekaiser has. They're currently fighting for the dragon, so I'll just hard push. Figura is currently a dragon, so we can force a few platings. She even she even accidentally dies there. Like my team is actually winning that without me. So I can take these platings here. And get all the gold here as well. Viora's gonna be losing all the um, all the gold of the creeps. And all the XP as well, so that's gonna like once again, it's gonna put us ahead of the game. They're still fighting there. <laughs> They're still fighting. Okay. We will have another plating here. So that's like three platings now. That's that's plenty of gold. I'm gonna hard push this as well. Because if we push this out, I can actually make some space to go back to base and use all the gold that I just just got right now. So the next item we're obviously we want to be buying is ninja tabbies now we also need executor eventually so um but first i'm just gonna go for the scepter it's gonna be useful also buy like a red trinket control ward so what we could do we could go for the morello we could buy that we could also just buy the uh the executor since mordecai has pretty much used the ad too so we could do this We'll take a look how uh, how hard people snowball. Maybe we don't even need it, so. Hmm. This guy is not even making a chance. Like, I haven't even used my W. I still have my entire shield. We're probably not going to need the Executor for a while, because whenever the team fights start, I can literally press my ult on Fiora, 1v1 her, and then play the team fight without her. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna need Executor for a while, because it's, it's gonna be useless. I can kill her before she can even proc the ultimate. All of them are fighting mid lane. Oh oh I still got it, nice. Okay, I got the tower. I actually got the first blood tower, so that's like an extra gold. Oh, you're gonna regret this. She does make a fair chance if I don't have ult. <laughs> no. Alright, what I could have done there, I was actually hogging the tower so that she couldn't even proc the ultimate. I would have had her for sure. It was kind of my mistake, but... Then again, she got lucky with the Q on the last, like the last moment. Hmm. Too bad. Uh, just quickly, just quickly get this one. There we go. Now the reason she obviously won that hard was once again I didn't hug the the wall. But secondly, um, Mordekaiser without the ultimate is not that strong. You will need to get your ultimate if you want if you want someone. It's like. Um, what makes the difference in the team fights and the one v ones? I want to go back top lane. Ash is currently down there. I would honestly like to go bottom and see if I can catch that guy, but 
Whatever. I can just push top lane. They're currently like all of them are grouping around mid lane. Okay. Oh, they're getting catched. That's not very good. I'll just quickly push out the lane. And with that time, I'm going to force Fiora to stay top lane. And then I'll group up with the team and force a dragon, which will spawn in 55. Just have to take a good look on the map, see what happens. Yeah, there's a team fight happening right now. Lucian is split pushing. Huh. I don't think... Yeah, there's no ward down here. We could try to kill all of them. Yeah, all of them are super low. Well. Okay, I'm not even getting one. <laughs> Wait, Lucian... Lucian is still bot lane. Okay. Thank you very much. Lucian could have taken all of them, but he didn't respawn that well. Like, he was taking tower, but he could have had four kills if he moved faster. This guy ran off. Not even going to bother chasing this guy. Nice. We'll push this out. And then we can make our way back. Awesome. So obviously our next item, I like to build this item a lot. Uh, it's going to be Zhonya's. I like to build Zhonya's. It is so good on Mordekaiser. Because in like, uh, there will be moments where you got to save yourself if you come out of the ultimate. Or you're like in, the, in your ultimate and you have to dodge something. Uh, you can use your Zhonya's, dodge the spell, and then move on. There's been there's a lot of moments that you will encounter where you need the, the Zhonya's. It's also pretty good because it makes you more tanky. I don't even need my ultimate. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. We got these guys here. I'll just I'll just keep on pushing. I'll just pressure as hard as I can right now. Two of them are down here. I also saw the Shavena there somewhere. But we're just going to be farming some camps here. While we don't see all of them on the map. Hey, we've got this guy here. What I like on Mordekaiser is the fact that you can get the camps. And if you're um, if the bars filled up, you can just heal yourself back. Let's see if there's like any wards down here. All of them are bot lane at the moment, so we can just farm out everything right now. Hello. He's not even trying to fight me. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I, I was just waiting out to, to see when she was going to parry. Just just holding my E until she parries. Because she will do it eventually. And now we're going to go back to split pushing. Like, we're way stronger than Fiora is at the moment. So we can just keep this up for a long time. They need at least two people to 1v1 me. And I can even ult one of them, so... Uh, Mor Morgana is actually coming topside right now, so I'm going to be a little careful. Yeah, there's one guy coming top lane. I saw Morgana moving topside, so we have to be really careful for this.
My entire team is pushing mid lane, which is really good. Okay. What if I flash E? <laughs> I wanna try. Okay, I'm not gonna try. I don't, I don't think I would reach it if I if I were to flash E. Okay, let's push. Yeah, I think this game is done. Like, we're too strong. Like, the enemy team, you know, Viora's pretty good against Mordekaiser because Viora outskills Mordekaiser insanely hard. But we're at the stage in the game where she will never get the chance. Like, never. We are nearly two items ahead of this Viora right now. Two items. They're not, they're not gonna make a... This guy is not gonna come back anytime soon from this. Oh, there's people coming here. Let's just, let's just go back already. I saw one guy here, and I saw one guy here. Like, when I'm split pushing, I am keeping my eye on the map more than anything else like I think like I'm basically watching the map and I'm farming with my with, with my eye like in the corner you know so I'm holding my eye on the map and using my the corner of my eye just like farm out the lane that's usually how I split push so I'm like constantly watching to see what's going on on the map just to make sure that I actually see everything there are cases in the game where I'm just like I'm, I'm more like Watching the map 90% and like 10% the game itself. Okay, Dragon is spawning soon. Wow, he's actually doing it? Are you kidding? Okay. Well, if he shows up, then... <laughs> Not even a chance, man. I'm too tanky for him. I got it through my passive. Okay. Now we can push. We got all four dragons. Really good. The best thing would be right now to have one guy going top. And then four people going bot lane. That would be the best, um, best situation. Okay, you got him. Nice. Dodging everything. Oh! Look at this, man. I'm dodging everything. Nice. I can ult somebody in 30 seconds. Ooh, I accidentally should have done my E a little bit more to the right. Only if you are so alive, I can just ult this guy. <laughs> yeah, she's giving up. <laughs> no way, she's gonna 1v9 here. Anyways. Don't forget to check out the description if you want to see the full runes, full build of Mordecaster guys. Honestly, really OP build. This is pretty much what I build in most of my games with Mordekaiser. Um, anyways, don't forget to follow my stream. I'm nearly streaming every day. Um, especially, like, if you want to watch challenging games, don't forget to check out all my stream, guys. Uh, also, don't forget to follow my Instagram if you guys have, like, any kind of questions. And with that being said, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys up next video. Peace.